Hello, and welcome to the Court of Fools Savage Survival Season 2. I'm Dee Swank, and joining me is Fuzz, Thundra, and Dan. In this playthrough, we have some rules. Large grid ships must be built in one of our construction hangars. If they are bigger than the space provided, they must be built in sections and assembled outside the hangar. If you enjoy this video, do the YouTuber chant, like and subscribe, ring the bell, and all that other stuff. As an added game, all thumbnails are taken from the episode, so leave a timestamp and the closest one gets pinned. Now, on to the episode. How's the load-in going for me? Still issues, it's still chugging along. I don't know what this issue is I'm looking for if they're bear out. It's still chugging along though. That means it's working, right? It's trying it's trying to work. Yes. I can move. It sounds like she's in moral. Sounds like it. And since we've been playing running for about an hour. Uh, I don't think Dano's going to show up. I don't think he is either. And it's a storming. Where are you guys at so I know where to go? Um, out back, we're in the fallacy. Okay, I know where to get to the fallacy. The fallacy is not docked where it used to be. If you go to where it was, that's not, that's the opposite side of the station. Uh, okay, is the back of this thing by where I built that big ass hangar? Yes. Okay, then I'm going the right way. Just want to make sure. There's going to be a several times that I have to go away, especially with the storm being this bad. Because it sounds like somebody took a shower. And instead of having just a shower head, it's the tub as the shower head. Which means the goats might need to be moved. Okay. Because some of them are small enough they can drown in the little areas. Okay, I, I got to say, I did a freaking. I hate when I do that. I went down the wrong hole. I see the fallacy. Okay, that's that's a plus. I just crashed into the fallacy. That hurt. I'm looking for the. There it is. Stairs. <laughs> you should be able to turn your gravity. Jetpack off once you're on the ladder. Because we now have gravity on the ship. I wanted to make sure that I was doing a uh, door etiquette. Yeah. Okay. So, where's the spot that Fuzz is going to sit? Fuzz is going to have the command seat, Fuzz is going to be in charge. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I know. Then I was gonna look at the pretty girls. I am gonna sit at the table. Well, I should say that my character is gonna look at the pretty girls, but I go check and see if the gate between the two sides is up. Because if it is, then they can't get to higher ground. Okay. The, the, the hydrogen engines are currently off, so we have no forward thrust. Okay. Now I was telling Fuzz. Not, since he's piloting. Alright. We are going to make a blind jump.
distance 100%. Not quite a thousand kilometers. Oh lord. Uh huh. Yeah, I forgot how how limited our jump range was. Yeah. Oh well. And jumping. Huh? I said, there's the rain. The rain? Okay. It just went, yeah, Very much just went deluge. I do like the red glow, red orange glow that the fallacy has. Yeah. Thirty percent charged. So, of the planets that we can see here, because this is where most of the planets are, apparently, uh, do you have? A thought as to which more, which cluster we want to go to as our first planet. Probably the one that has three, since that gives us more variety. Oh, the uh, the cluster to the right. Yep. The, the three and the mo two moons. Yep. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Uh. I know that you and Thundra know about this, but uh, I figure I'd let the people watching. Uh, I finally figured out what I'm planning to build for my big ship. What purpose it's going to have. It's going to be a uh, exploration ship. We're thinking about uh, including there there's a mod okay. that is on the workshop that lets you build jump points and we're thinking about adding that and the idea of my ship would be it would be capable of jumping from uh, our station to anywhere in the system and building the jump points so that way we could fast travel to different stations and then from the stations to planets which would be fun oh yeah absolutely and then the other thing that I, uh, I was planning for my large ship is it being um, having a I have a question. Yep. Um, considering our rules, how would people feel if I, since we have small grid turret mounts on this, how would people feel if I went out and slapped together a camera? that we can rotate and look around. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. That'd just be a small, uh... a small upgrade that wouldn't really hurt anything. Okay. I didn't... I didn't hear what you said, this one. Who wants to cheat? Right. Have you oh, how dare! In, have you been ignoring me the whole time? I mean, I've been asking no. you some deep... My headphones came on close. I sat down. 
Oh, so that explains why you started talking over the top of me. Okay. Yes, I apologize. It was because I didn't hear you talking. Headphones were unplugged. I've got to get a longer cord so that I don't have it when I sit down. It got hooked on the dresser and yanked it out. It's a wrist trigger. Oh, uh, things that like spawned in? Yeah. Oh, he's not that far away. Nope. Got an interesting flight. Oh, shit. We got a lot of iron. Definitely getting close. Yeah. I don't think there's going to be any asteroids this close, though, unfortunately. Nope. Might have to go through the settings and make sure asteroid spawning is even turned on. Uh, they're not. Uh, we should probably fix that. Uh, I mean, the whole point was that there's somewhere out there, there's a, a planet with a huge ass ring of that's true. And then there's a thousand kilometer tail of asteroids somewhere off of the gas giant. I mean, we start add adding procedurally generated asteroids, the save file is going to bloat like... Insane. Like a rotting whale on a warm uh, beach. This is true. since the idea was we we're going to spend a lot of time in this world, uh, keeping the rot down is almost as important as keeping the rot down in uh, Remnant. Yeah. just happened to me. Am I what happened? am I still in the ship? Uh let me see. Yes. Okay. I somehow I double tapped on the uh key to sit in the seat. And then suddenly I was all over the map. Because I got in and out real fast and confused it.
Don't know how to take that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll be jumping shortly okay. if you let me. Take it you, as you're pretty good at the first. Yeah, pretty good at the second one, too. Yeah. I don't know if your, your drill is strong enough to, with the ion, to drill some of these smaller moons. I uh, don't know. Oh, oh shit, did I jump past it? I did. Yeah, you that earth light over there looks pretty cool. The biggest one? Well, yeah, the biggest one from our perspective. Hey. It's not going to be worth trying to get too close because we can't do anything other than land on it in the, the foot fallacy. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're looking for flat. Yep. I'm gonna start jumping back towards the other way to see if I missed anything. We're almost 4,000 kilometers away. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anything above us? Uh, I'm a spectator to that planet that is above us, I think. If I can. Oh, God, I'm my spectator came out left way the hell behind. Oh, that deep blue one? Yeah. I have no idea where our ship actually is. Ah, I found this. Okay. Yeah, that. Oh, is that that deep blue one has has water on it? Nice. And it has a bunch of ice and continents. Ooh, that one could be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I think the big uh, gas giant with the rings is uh, in essence the center point of the system. Yeah. And somewhere off, like I said, somewhere off of it is a fairly dense ring and there's a small uh, small planetoid on it in the middle of the ring. Uh, it's a named planet and I don't remember the names of most of these. Uh, and there's there's a tail of asteroids that goes from the, the gas giant to us. Like that far. So there are a lot of asteroids in the system. They're just not RNG. So. Ah. I'm gonna go back to working on my controllable camera. Mm hmm. Thank you for watching if you're still here. There is a link in the Discord below as well as where you can find the others. The link on the right is whatever the algorithm thinks you will like that I have put out, and the left has a good jump-in spot for this series, so you don't have to watch the previous hundred episodes unless you want to. So, until next time, buh bye bye